Can you imagine a world where artificial intelligence becomes more human-like and humanity becomes more artificial? We'll come to the TechBit channel. As we cast our gaze towards the horizon, a new dawn is breaking. It's a world where the lines between the human and the artificial blur and merge. A world where artificial intelligence is no longer confined to the realm of the digital, but begins to shape and define our very reality. Imagine, if you will, our friends at Tesla taking their innovation to the moon. Picture Tesla bots, not just cruising down your local streets, but traversing the lunar landscape, their silhouettes etched against the desolate beauty of our closest celestial neighbour. These are not just machines, but embodiments of our own ingenuity and ambition, pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible. But the journey doesn't stop there. Let's take it a step further. Picture AI chatbots not just assisting with your day-to-day -day tasks, but guiding you through the labyrinth of your mind. Imagine them as your companions in the realm of dreams, helping you navigate the surreal and often perplexing world of the subconscious. This is not just about technology for technology's sake. This is about redefining our understanding of consciousness, of exploring the depths of the human psyche, and of connecting with our inner selves in ways we never thought possible. We're entering an era where AI is not just a tool, but a partner in our journey of self-discovery, a guide in our quest for knowledge, a companion in our pursuit of dreams. In this brave new world, AI is not just about mimicking human intelligence, but about augmenting it, enhancing it, and pushing it to new frontiers. This is a world where the artificial becomes human-like, and the human becomes artificial. It's a world where we begin to question the very nature of consciousness, of identity, and of what it means to be human. As we stand on the precipice of this new era, we begin to question the boundaries of what it means to be human. What if our future is not confined to Earth, but spread across the cosmos? Imagine the day when human beings, the children of Mother Earth, step onto the surface of another planet as residents, not just visitors. This is the vision of a multi-planetary future. A future where our species extends its reach beyond the familiar blue-green sphere of home. In this vision, Mars, the red planet, becomes our second home. But how do we live on a planet with a thin atmosphere and freezing temperatures? The answer lies in fusion energy. Picture a bustling underground city on Mars, lit and heated by the awesome power of fusion energy. This is not the stuff of science fiction, but a tangible goal within our grasp. Imagine the hum of fusion reactors, echoing through vast networks of subterranean tunnels, powering the systems that keep a Martian city alive. Fusion energy, the process that lights up the stars, could be harnessed to make Mars habitable, to warm its soil and fill its air with oxygen. But Mars is not the only celestial body in our future. Picture the Moon, our closest neighbour, transformed into a hub of activity. Lunar hover bikes zipping across the lunar landscape, kicking up dust in the low gravity. These vehicles, designed for the unique conditions of the Moon, could revolutionise lunar travel, turning the barren lunar plains into highways beneath the stars. And what of the long journey to Mars? Enter the concept of cryosleep. Astronauts entering a state of suspended animation for the duration of their voyage, their bodies preserved in a deep sleep, while their minds dream of the new world awaiting them. This is the multiplanetary future we envision. A future where humans are not just Earthlings, but Martians, Lunarians, and perhaps even citizens of worlds beyond our solar system. As we look to the stars, we see not just a dream, but a tangible future. Our journey into space is more than exploration. It's the next step in human evolution, the unfolding of a new chapter in the story of our species. And it's a journey that's just beginning. Have you ever wondered what would happen if technology advanced too quickly for humans to predict? A fascinating question, isn't it? This is the concept of the singularity, a point in our future where the line between human and machine blurs and technology evolves at an unimaginable speed. Imagine a world where SpaceX starships like Celestial Birds take flight regularly to resupply the International Space Station. These vessels, crafted by the hands of humanity, serve as a lifeline to those who dare to live among the stars, ensuring our survival in the harsh environment of space. 
Now let's delve into a more abstract realm. Imagine millions of artificial intelligences, not bound by the physical limits of the human body, living as digital twins in protected virtual worlds. These AIs, with their vast computational power and ceaseless operation, could unlock secrets of the universe that have eluded us for centuries. But what does this mean for us, the humans left behind on Earth? As we stand on the precipice of this new era, we face the exciting and daunting prospect of coexisting with entities that outstrip us in every conceivable measure of intellect and processing speed. This is the singularity, a future where the boundary between human and machine becomes indistinguishable. It's a world where our creations not only match our intelligence, but surpass it. The singularity represents a future where technology advances so rapidly that it's beyond our ability to predict or comprehend. Yet as we hurtle towards this unknown future, we must remember that it is we who have set this course. It is our endless curiosity, our relentless pursuit of knowledge and our indomitable spirit that have brought us to the edge of this new frontier. The singularity, while daunting, is not something to be feared. It's a testament to our potential as a species, a symbol of our restless ambition and our constant desire to push the boundaries of what is possible. As we approach the singularity, we find ourselves in uncharted territory. But as history has shown us time and again, it's in these uncharted territories that we truly find ourselves. What if we could customize our bodies like we customize our computers? Welcome to the fascinating world of biohacking. In the simplest terms, biohacking is the practice of changing our chemistry and our physiology through science and self-experimentation to energize and enhance the body. It's a broad definition, but that's also because the concept of biohacking is continually evolving. It can be as simple as implementing lifestyle and dietary changes that improve the functioning of your body or as sophisticated as the implantation of DNA storage devices. Imagine being able to store digital data in DNA sequences. It sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? But biohackers are making it a reality. They are implanting DNA storage devices into themselves, turning their bodies into walking, talking hard drives. The potential of this technology is immense. It could revolutionize data storage, offering a biological solution for our ever-growing digital data needs. Now let's journey into another groundbreaking field. Three. D. Bioprinting. Picture this. Miniaturized organs, created layer by layer from biological materials, right in front of your eyes. These aren't just for show, either. These three D printed organs can be used to test individual medical responses, providing a personalized health solution that could drastically improve treatment outcomes. Rather than using a one-size-fits-all approach to medicine, doctors could test drugs and treatments on these miniaturized organs to determine the best course of action for each unique individual. Both biohacking and 3D bioprinting are pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. They are redefining our understanding of the human body and offering exciting new potential for health and longevity. And this is just the beginning. As these technologies continue to develop, who knows what incredible advancements lie ahead. In the realm of the biological, we are only limited by our imagination. Can you fathom the mysteries of the universe, hidden in black holes and dark energy? The theoretical physicists of our time are making headway in unveiling these enigmatic phenomena. By deciphering the cosmos's cryptic code, they're pushing the boundaries of what we thought we knew about our universe. Imagine harnessing the power of dark energy. This elusive force, making up about 70% of our universe, is responsible for its accelerating expansion. Unraveling the secrets of dark energy could pave the way to understanding the very fabric of space-time itself and potentially the fate of our universe. Then there are wormholes, these theoretical tunnels through space-time. Imagine stepping into a wormhole here on Earth and emerging light years away in a distant corner of the Milky Way. The concept, while still largely speculative, could be our ticket to faster-than-light travel. And let's not forget about black holes, these fascinating cosmic entities that devour everything, even light itself. But what if we told you that our advanced understanding of black holes could lead to groundbreaking technology? Picture planetary data storage, where we could use black holes as cosmic hard drives or consider energy harvesting from micro black holes. 
providing us with a nearly inexhaustible power source. These concepts, while mind-bending, are not just the stuff of science fiction anymore. Theoretical physicists are inching closer to making these ideas a reality, pushing the frontiers of physics beyond what we ever thought possible. As we continue to probe the cosmos, we're not just exploring the universe outside of us, we're also delving into the universe within us, the one that exists in the smallest particles and the most fundamental forces. This journey is not just about reaching out to the stars and galaxies, it's also about understanding ourselves and our place in the cosmos. As we delve deeper into the cosmos, we come closer to unlocking the secrets of the universe. Imagine a world where robots are the first settlers on a new planet. Welcome to Mars, the red planet, where the future of colonization is already underway. The first settlers here are not humans, but our mechanical counterparts. Robots designed to withstand the harsh conditions and prepare the groundwork for our arrival. These robots, adept in their tasks, are more than just machines. They are the pioneers of a new era, landing on Mars and beginning the construction of a base that will serve as the cornerstone for future human habitation. They labor tirelessly, unaffected by the Martian cold or the thin atmosphere, laying the foundation for a future where humans will live, work and thrive on another planet. But it's not just about building habitats and infrastructure, it's about sustainability. To ensure the longevity of this endeavor, the need for a reliable, renewable source of fuel is paramount. This is where the marvel of modern engineering comes into play, a small-scale permanent fuel production factory. This factory, another first of its kind, is designed to create methane rocket fuel from carbon dioxide and hydrogen, resources found in abundance on Mars. This innovation is a testament to human ingenuity turning the challenge of Martian colonization into an opportunity. It's a self-sustaining system, a lifeline for the future settlers, ensuring that we're not just visitors on Mars, but permanent residents. This is a giant leap in our journey to becoming a multi-planetary species. The robots on Mars are not just building a base or a factory, they are constructing a future, a future where humans can call another planet home. The robots on Mars are pioneers in the truest sense of the word, charting the course for human exploration and settlement on a world beyond our own. They are the harbingers of a future where the confines of Earth are no longer the limits of our reach. As we extend our reach to Mars, we redefine what it means to be a pioneer. What if the solution to our energy crisis lies in the heart of a star? A question that's more than just idle musing, it's the premise of fusion energy, often referred to as the holy grail of energy. Fusion energy, in a nutshell, is the process of harnessing the power of stars. To be more precise, it's the nuclear reaction that fuels the sun and all other stars in our universe. It's a process that combines or fuses light atomic nuclei into heavier ones, releasing a colossal amount of energy in the process. But it's not just about energy production. The potential of fusion energy goes beyond keeping our lights on. Imagine a world where vast swathes of the Earth are powered by fusion energy. Entire countries, from bustling metropolises to remote rural areas, illuminated and energised by the power of the stars. It's an awe-inspiring vision, isn't it? But the potential of fusion energy doesn't stop there. One of the most transformative uses of this near-limitless power could be large-scale desalination plants. Currently, desalination is an energy-intensive process, limiting its use in many parts of the world where fresh water is scarce. But with fusion energy, we could potentially turn the vast oceans of salt water into a virtually inexhaustible source of fresh water. This could revolutionize our approach to water scarcity, one of the most pressing issues of our time. It could transform arid regions into fertile lands, quench the thirst of millions, and create a world where no one lacks access to clean, fresh water. In essence, Fusion energy is more than just an answer to our energy woes. It's a key to unlocking a future where resources are abundant, where our energy is clean and limitless, and where the power of the stars is harnessed for the betterment of all humankind. And so, we come to realize that with fusion energy, we hold the power of the stars in our hands. As we stand on the cusp of this new age, what does the future hold? 
We've traversed through the dawn of a new era where artificial intelligence becomes more human-like and we, ironically, more artificial. We've envisioned a multi-planetary future with Tesla bots on the moon and underground cities on Mars. We've faced the singularity where technology advances at a pace we can barely fathom. We've explored the realms of biohacking, 3D bioprinting and DNA storage, blurring the lines between biology and technology. We've delved into the frontiers of physics, where black holes, wormholes and dark energy aren't just theories, but tools for our advancement. We've imagined life on Mars, with robots building bases and fuel factories going online. And we've seen the power of fusion energy, the holy grail of energy, pushing us closer to becoming a Type 1 civilization. In the face of these monumental changes, one thing remains certain. The only limits are those we place on ourselves.